All right, guys, let's talk about how to verify a suspended Google business profile. If you're suspended on Google or need verified, it sucks because you're losing a lot of traffic clicks, customers, and money. Uh, so do this search result here. You can also use ChatGPT to find specific answers, uh, like what are the steps and best practices for verifying my Google profile. This talks about setting up a new one, but it also talks about how we can fix and reinstate a profile that needs verified or is suspended. So if you search on Google, you get a couple drop downs here. Uh, review these drop downs so you can submit evidence through an appeal. You can track your appeal through the help forum. Uh, you can re-verify the profile if prompted through phone, SMS, or email. You can try contacting Google directly. Sometimes this phone number works, or you could use the chat option or request a call back. Uh, if you are suspended, you need to escalate and submit an appeal, but before you do so, review your profile first. So ways to get verified, you can do video verification. There's a couple other videos on Google or YouTube talking about this. So you can just go to YouTube and search video verification, Google My Business. There's a couple cool videos here explaining exactly what to do. You'll log in through Google Maps, sign in, do the video verification. These prompt you on what to do and not do. Uh, another option we've got, you could enter a mailing address. This only works if you have a commercial address. Do not use a PO box. Uh, do not use a shared address like a WeWork or co-working space or Regis. Do not use a residential address. If you're a service area business, this is commercial address only. Will it work? Because Google Street View, those cars driving around know what's residential versus commercial versus co-working, shared, or PO box. Another option, you might be disabled, so you need to do a verification, but first make sure to optimize your information here. This one could have an issue because this isn't a commercial address, so do not show your business address to customers. Also review your data here. Um, choose a correct business name. You don't want to keyword stuff your business name. It needs to be an actual business name that matches your EIN or business documents. Um, your category. This is not a category, so this could be hand uh, uh, contractor or specifically what you do. Do not type something in manually there. Have a proper description that explains your business. Choose your opening date. A proper phone number, this cannot be um, some sort of forwarding number. Chat option, make sure this is accurate. Uh, website, make sure your website's not hacked, is live and eligible online. And just fill this out correctly. The main things are the name, address, and phone number, so be careful with those. You can also do a phone, text, or S uh, SMS, or call verification. This number needs to be either your cell phone or a registered phone number. Do not use a spoofing or forwarding number um, unless it's like call rail or something. Uh, this is just for the verification, so if you did like a, you know, put my number here, you can go through this, you should be able to get a text unless that number is used elsewhere. And so you can get a phone code. So request that, text message, go through with that. That's my number, so don't spam me. And it might still need re-verified even if you get this text message. So let's check here. Verify being verified so it might take a few days and they might still need additional verification like the video verification which does suck but until then you can go through add your hours add your business description be very detailed and accurate you have 750 characters and add photos just add more proof to the profile that you're legitimate and to avoid future disabling or verification get a custom domain like a premium workspace email from Google like Mac at sunwisesolar.com. Um, so that's like five to ten dollars per month. Now you can go through and edit the profile. It still needs verification, takes up to five days. But those are a couple options. Uh, like I said, you can use ChatGPT um, to ask, How do I verify my suspended Google business profile? It'll give you exactly what to do here. But also read through these prompts that you see on Google with that same question. Uh, we fixed, reinstated, and optimized thousands, over a thousand profiles in the past four years. It's a common issue. It happens to a lot of small business owners, uh, service locations, not specifically retail or storefronts. It mostly happens to service businesses. 
because a lot of them used a residential address at one point. Uh, so if you need help with this, let us know. Uh, you can go to our website, fix my Google listing, fill out this form or give us a call at this number. Uh, my name is Mac, founder and CEO. I used to work at Google in the search department. So we deal with these all the time. I have videos talking about how to fix a suspended profile. So does my partner, Sean. Uh, a lot of how-to training videos here. So I hope this was helpful. Walk through those steps. The video verification does suck, but you gotta do it to get through it. Make sure you have an EIN PDF from your tax ID that you can upload in your appeal as well. Um, and if you have any questions, comment below, like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you need other marketing or SEO help, just give us a call. Thanks and talk to you soon.